Before we kick, we go to the third member of our team on the field is Jamie Erdahl. Jamie. Brad, it's quite the juxtaposition of SEC experience between these two head coaches. On one hand, you have Jimbo Fisher, who made his first stop in the conference in 1993. That year, Brian Parsons was playing high school. This is old-fashioned football. How do you separate yourself from Texas A&M in the second half? Yeah, well, we need to. Um, you know, it's a zero-zero ball game right now, and both defenses are, are playing well. So we got to figure out some things that we can do to move the ball and score touchdowns, put points on the board, continue with what we're doing on defense, make some adjustments, uh, but keep playing physical. You know, we're on the road here. Our guys are playing hard, not perfect, but we got to keep playing in the second half. All right, coach. Thank you. Thank you. To say no defense, it's the challenge, challenge. Jimbo Fisher just told me that they can't rely too much on their run game in the second half. And in that first half, they were plagued by critical. Zach Calzada has made good decisions. Down to Jamie. Coach, we saw Zach Calzada in a ton of pain in the second half. What happened to him on that play, and what did it mean to this team when he came His back? His shoulder just slipped, and they put it back in. He was fine. He went out and played. He's tough, man. He's just playing lights out, man. He's good as anybody in America. We talked at halftime about why this game was sustainable defensively for your team. How were they able to separate? Control the line of scrimmage. Control the line of scrimmage. Got him one. Was today fun to play in? Oh, very fun. You know, I was looking forward to this one on the schedule. Celebrating. Go ahead. Uh -huh. We'll let you go. Yep.